My favorite mango yogurt got discontinued. Have you ever experienced the utter heartbreak when your favorite dish gets removed from your favorite restaurant's menu? Of course you have. We all have. So here are 10 restaurant meals that have sadly disappeared. They discontinued them seven years ago. Olive Garden's Chicken Fettuccine Florentine. I'm gonna go fall in love with the Olive Garden. When someone says Olive Garden, your mind probably calls up images of breadsticks and never-ending salad. It's practically inevitable. For some, the calamari is to die for. Of course, the main attraction at the garden are the pasta dishes. But for many regular visitors to the restaurant, there's been something missing in recent years, the chicken fettuccine Florentine. I haven't been to the Olive Garden in like forever! This exquisite dish was known to be one of the Olive Garden's most creamy ever made and an absolute favorite among patrons. With copious amounts of cheese and packed with flavor, it's been said that this dish was worth a road trip if you didn't have an Olive Garden close by. Then, for some unknown reason, the dish just disappeared. Although there is no longer an official place on the menu for the chicken fettuccine Florentine, apparently you can and still order it if you ask nicely. And the chef is in a good mood. Arby's Loaded Italian Sandwich. I can turn this into one of these. There was once a well-known sandwich called the Liss, or Loaded Italian Sandwich. Mountains of deli meat, banana peppers, perfectly melted cheese, lettuce, tomato, and onion were all held between two delicious buns. Don't you like food that's tasty and delicious? This sandwich was something original and stood out for all the right reasons. Picture hungry people in their vehicles lined up at the drive through just to order the loaded Italian sandwich on their lunch breaks. For the crunch of lettuce and onion, the taste of fresh tomato, the mix of banana peppers and meat, it all seemed worth it. And then gone! When it was stripped from the menu, a little piece of people's hearts were stripped away as well. Chili's Monterey Chicken. Baby back, baby back, baby back, I want my baby back, Chili. Chili's has many great items to choose from on its menu, from Cajun fajitas, ribs, steaks, chipotle shrimp, ancho salmon, and so on. They have so many options that it's hard to find anything wrong with their menu. That is, unless your favorite meal has suddenly vanished. That's what happened to the Monterey chicken from Chili's. This dish was one of many that the restaurant stopped serving, and possibly the most pain-inducing one to be taken away. The way that the chicken would burst with flavor, not to mention the added cheese, was almost magical. Goodbye, my friend. Since 2015, restaurant goers have been missing the taste bud busting flavor of this chili's favorite, and they're still unhappy about the decision to remove it from the menu. After all, when you have something so great, why would you switch things up? Roast beef from Subway? In depth analysis, let's go to Marshawn Lynch. Sandwiches are a staple in many households across many nations, serving as a quick, efficient, and tasty way to stifle the pangs of hunger during a long day. And when it comes to fast food restaurants, Subway has long been a leader in this prosperous industry. They offer steak and cheese, classic ham and cheese, Italian melts, packed deli meats, meatball subs, and so much more. They also offer a wide variety of bread, cheeses, vegetables, and sauces to choose from. But roast beef? When you think of roast beef, you'd typically think of Arby's. You could say it's a Steph Curry a foot long. But Subway once had a dominating hand in the roast beef wars, if there was such a thing. As a matter of fact, just as recently as 2020, Subway had a best-selling roast beef sandwich on their menu. Then it was gone. This item's disappearance has caused rampant anger and outcries on Twitter and other social media outlets aimed at the sandwich chain. Although Arby's is a fair replacement, it's just not the same as Subway's spectacular beef. Maybe that's because at Subway, you can select the bread, cheese, vegetables, and sauce, making your roast beef sandwich truly one of a kind. Wendy's Pub Menu. Wendy's. The Baconator 
later, a cold, frosty, square hamburger patties, all of these and so much more are guaranteed to make you think of Wendy's. The international fast food chain has been doing it right since 1969 and hasn't slowed down since. French fries dipped into vanilla ice cream, mayonnaise mixed with ketchup on a burger, bacon on everything. Wendy's has done it all. And you can add to that the time Wendy's introduced the pub menu. Wendy's pretzel pub chicken. The pretzel bacon pub cheeseburger was something that they'd never done before, but they gave it a shot. In typical Wendy's fashion, when Wendy's tries something new, more often than not, things work out. Well, to no one's surprise, the pub menu was an overnight success. The flavorful sandwich combined with beer-flavored cheese sauce, fried onions, cheese, bacon, and a pretzel bun had people lining up for the great taste. The thought of losing Wendy's pub menu was so far from anyone's mind that when it happened, it left many devastated. Despite the massive success of said menu, Wendy's has since discontinued it and there are no talks of bringing it back leaving many customers permanently saddened. IHOP's Stuffed French Toast IHOP's always changing their food up, and it's delicious every time. Decadent crepes, massive waffles, seasonal menus, and so much more are what makes IHOP a classic in the restaurant business. With a constantly changing menu, fluffy pancakes, every flavor of syrup and topping you can imagine, it's hard to find anything you would want to complain about with this chain restaurant. The stuffed French toast was no different. No complaints. Like, at all. Stuffed with cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla extract, the flavor came through with every bite. Topped with your choice of sugary fruit topping and cooked to a perfect golden brown, the stuffed French toast could make your mouth water before the dish even made it to your table. Oh, I'm at IHOP with everyone I love! What a perfect Sunday! This was a most popular dish with IHOP fans for many years. The stuffed French toast provided children and adults alike with a sweet experience until all that was left to do was lick the plate. Despite the laughs and silliness this dish brought with it, IHOP has discontinued their ever-popular stuffed French toast. Once one of their most popular dishes, it's no longer available, and no one knows why. Applebee's Grilled Chicken Wonton Tacos I put the wonton tacos in Applebee's 2 for 20 menu because I love them. Applebee's isn't known for having a large menu or particularly gourmet dishes, but it's a favorite among those who enjoy flavorful meals at a fair price. This chain serves up the sit-down attitude of a simpler time. A laid-back atmosphere, smiling servers, good drinks, and good times are all staples of this franchise. Serving chicken, shrimp, steaks, ribs, burgers, and even tacos has helped them grow and get noticed among the myriad of other chain restaurants. The menu also includes children's meals, adult beverages, and flavored syrups to spice up your teas, waters, or even pops. However, even with their success, when 2020 came along, they had to shrink their menu in order to cut back on the fresh produce needed in the kitchen due to availability and delivery concerns. How about the Applebee? One of the first casualties was the delicious grilled chicken wonton taco. These were a sought-after appetite that many diners loved, and they were on the menu for years. The great flavor and non-filling nature of the items were a perfect appetizer for many. Applebee's chose to cut the grilled chicken wonton taco from its menu in order to save some cash during the uncertain times. Having been with the restaurant chain for a long time, it's unclear if the spiced chicken taco will ever make its return, but as of now, we can only call on our memories to remember the feel of tender chicken spice with that tangy, zesty sauce. Never say never, and hopefully it will make a comeback and we can all enjoy it again as if it was the first time. Chili's Flatbread I really like it. Who doesn't love a meaty, cheesy, vegetable-y piece of thin crust bread? Chili's once offered this exact thing in three different flavors, margarita, chipotle chicken, and California grilled chicken. The flatbread proved to be a massive hit with all ages and skyrocketed in popularity seemingly overnight. 
overnight. Delicious! The zesty chipotle flavor would draw in those who loved spice, the margarita's sweet tomato flavor called to the Italian food lovers, and the California grilled chicken would draw on the taste buds of every customer who entered. The flatbreads were a success of gigantic proportions, but they just weren't meant to be. Despite many people clamoring to order these flatbread offerings from the menu, the chain wasn't prepared to continue their production. Chili's removed them from the menu without much of a warning to their customers. This move left fans bewildered and confused, since it had become one of the most popular items on the menu. There are some who still call for the reinstatement of the beloved bread. Will it ever happen? Maybe, but if it doesn't, Chili still offers many great items to choose from. Olive Garden's never-ending pasta bowl. You've never seen the ending? Here's another item from the ever-famous Olive Garden that has been gut-wrenchingly absent in recent years. The never-ending pasta bowl was a staple at the chain restaurant for more than 20 years before being removed in 2019. The promotion that drove many people to the Italian-style restaurant allowed customers to have unlimited servings of their favorite pasta dishes in a single sitting. Love you, pasta. Although there has been a negative response to this menu change, the restaurant isn't considering reinstating the promotion anytime soon. The leadership seemed to think that the promotion had a negative impact on the company as it was cutting into their profits. This is kind of a double-edged sword. While maybe cutting into pasta profits, did the franchise lose regular customers because of the change? Another question is, if they can do this to the unlimited pasta, could the same fate befall all the breadsticks? No worries there, as of now there doesn't seem to be any talk of Olive Garden removing their second best never-ending item, the breadsticks. Uno Pizzeria and Grill's Whole Hog Burger. Real interested in this section here. Wow, that's what most people had to say when they first laid eyes on this gigantic burger offered by Uno Pizzeria and Grill. Not for the faint of heart, this burger has four, yes, four different kinds of meat toppings, four different cheeses, onion rings, french fries, lettuce, tomato, pickles, and garlic mayonnaise. This burger goes all out with added bacon, of course, pepperoni, prosciutto, and sausage. American, Swiss, cheddar, and mozzarella cheeses were all sliced and placed on the whole hog burger as well. 2,850 calories if you're counting. Although the support that Uno Pizzeria and Grill received was widespread, the pizza chain has since dropped this powerhouse burger from its menu. The flavor-packed burger proved to be too large of an item for most restaurant goers and has been discontinued by the Chicago chain. Although the whole hog burger was burly and almost impossible to finish, many still wish it were still with us. Whether to prove to themselves that they can eat the mammoth creation all in one sitting, or for bragging rights with their friends, it really doesn't matter now. What matters is that if Uno Pizzeria and Grill never decides to reinstate the whole hog burger, then many people will never get their wish. Got a missing favorite we missed? Let us know! And tap or click for another great video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell!